Good morning friends, we're going to talk a little bit about butterflies and moths and we're going to talk about how they're different. I'll read a little bit of this book so we can see some things. This is called the swallow tail butterfly. It gets its name from the swallow bird. This is an eastern tailed butterfly. The butterfly, this butterfly lives in fields and gardens and it lays eggs on clover, beans, and wild pea plants. That way, while the eggs hatch, the caterpillars will have plenty of their food nearby. <clears throat> this is a little yellow butterfly. The little yellow butterfly likes warm weather. This is the monarch butterfly. Every fall, monarch butterflies go on a fantastic journey. They leave their homes in Canada and the northern United States and fly south to California, Florida, Texas, and Mexico, where it's warmer. And when spring comes again, the monarchs migrate back north. This trip can be as long as 2,000 miles. As monarchs fly north, they lay eggs on milkweed plants, and these eggs hatch into caterpillars. As the caterpillars grow, their skins become too small for them and have to be shed. This is called molting. After a couple weeks, the caterpillar molts for the last time. Its body turns into a hard shell called a chrysalis, and inside a great change called metamorphosis is taking place. And when the chrysalis cracks open about two weeks later, the caterpillar becomes a butterfly. So if you see these little caterpillars, they turn into that kind of butterfly. <clears throat> this is the red admiral butterfly. And this is the comma butterfly. And they have this name because they have like little commas on their wings. And this is the zebra long wing butterfly. And this is the cabbage butterfly. And the Apollo butterfly. This is called a peacock butterfly gets its name because peacocks have spots like this on their wings. This is the Luna Moth. How can you tell a moth from a butterfly? There are four ways. The best clue is the time. Butterflies are active during the day, but moths come out at night. The other difference are in their bodies. Most butterflies have thin antenna with knobs on the end and thin hairless bodies. Moths have thick feathery antenna and their bodies are fat and furry and they also spread their wings out when they are resting while butterflies hold their wings up in the air. The Luna moth is often seen in the eastern part of the United States. Its pale green color and long wings make make the most prettiest make one of the prettiest moths. This is the pus moth. If you see these little caterpillars crawling around, they turn into these little moths. The silkworm if you see these ones, the silkworm moth turns into this. <clears throat> the underwing moth. The tiger moth. Sometimes we call these woolly bears when they turn into tiger bear, tiger moths. The io moth, because it looks like he has little eyes on him. And that's the end of this book. So, some of the things that were the same between a butterfly and a moth is they both have wings, a body, and an antenna. But the butterflies rest with their wings closed while the moths rest with their wings open. And the butterflies are out during the day and the moths come out at night. And the butterflies, they have a long, thin antenna while the moths have four have short feathery antenna and have furry bodies. I hope you have fun learning about butterflies and moths this week. Bye now.